Hello again YouTube, it is time for me to write yet another paper, so I'm going to procrastinate and review a nice Transformers figure. This one is G1 Hound, it's the Takara Collection Hound reissue thing. Um, it's very, very nice looking, I like, you know, it's pretty, it's a nice looking military vehicle. It's got a gun on the back of it. Yeah. Turns. Points up and down. A little bit. Um, this figure I have is complete. On the back you can see both the gas can and the extra tire. Um, Alright, so... This guy kind of has a lot of pieces that have to come off and go on for his transformation, so that's kind of annoying, but we'll see. Alright, so to transform him, first you take his gun off, then you take his gas can off, and it's kind of a neat little, oops, detailed little gas can, cool, huh? And you take his spare tire off. And then you're down to this. At this point, you want to go to where the seats are and fold them up and back a little. Alright, and then you grab this area and just pull it straight down and these become his feet. And you go back to the seats and fold them into this little crevice area right there. Those become his heels, I guess. Then you grab the front and pull it outward and you take these things on the side and flip them down and around now one thing that annoys me about this guy about hound a little bit is his stickers are big and they stick out like on the legs and stuff and here on these things alright next thing you do is you grab these tires here on the side and fold them all the way back like so, and as you can possibly see, I'm not sure, it folds his shoulder kind of area out. Let's see if you can see it when I fold this one. See? Folds it out. Cool. Automorph from the original Transformers. Alright, and then you swivel his front down and pulled out the arms and put down his window shield windshield and there you basically have the hound figure his head is also automatic if you fold it down alright so there you go Really nice looking. His feet don't move, they're connected. Um, he comes with, whoops, a missile launcher, which you attach right into the crevice between his, on his shoulder, between his shoulder piece and body. And you take his little missile, stick it right in. The Takara one shoots, don't think the Hasbro one does, and he also comes with a little handgun, which is cool. Now I'm kind of a little saddened that this gun doesn't go anywhere in his robot mode. I particularly expected it to, like, I don't know, attach or something, but it doesn't. And a lot of people have complained about this toy because you can't have him point his gun forward because the movement is blocked. So that's about as high as the gun motion movement goes there. However, I have figured out a way around this, which is kind of corny, but it works. You take the gun out, fold the arm up, flip the gun over, and put the gun into the underside of the fist. And here, this way, he has full, almost full gun movement. So yeah, he just hold his gun upside down. Um,
guess that's about it on Hound. He's really nice looking, and I wanted him very badly. And classic G1, and yeah, it's an awesome figure. Bye.